hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have t over 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 and we solve this problem for the values of t so uh, here you see that this is sixth order equation it means that mm, this equation has six solutions or six roots so now we can find all that six roots here okay i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so at the last of this question i can give you an assignment uh, assignment question which is similar to this type of question uh, so i hope so uh, you first watch this video at the end and at the end you can solve the assignment which i can given here in the end of this question and then you can uh, find the solution of this assignment okay I hope uh, you can uh, solve the assignment and write your solution or answer into the comment section. So uh, we move forward to the solution of this problem. Uh, and now here uh, we can first uh, uh, apply this 6 power on both of these terms and it will be written as t to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6. And now we move this 2 to the power of 6 in the right hand side and it will be written as t to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 and now here you can combine the exponent of these two terms and you get here t to the power of 6 is equals to 4 to the power of 6 and here we move 4 to the power of 6 in the left hand side and it will be written as t to the power of 6 minus 4 to the power of 6 is equals to 0 and here uh, we rewrite this equation as t cubed and its whole square minus 4 cubed and its whole square is equals to 0. And now here we can apply the nice algebraic formula and we write these terms as t cubed uh, minus 4 cubed into t cubed plus 4 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t cubed minus 4 cubed equals to 0. We call this is equation number 1. The second case is we write t cubed plus 4 cubed equals to 0 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now first we focus on equation number 1. So equation number 1 is implies that here we can apply the cubic formula. You know about that. If you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so we can apply here this cubic formula in equation number one so that equation number one is implies that here uh, first you have a minus b the value of a is t and b is 4 into a square a is t square plus a b again a is t and b is 4 plus b square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus 4t plus 16 equals to 0. So from this case we easily get the value of t equals to 4 this is the first real solution of the given equation now in order to find the other solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation so here we can apply the quadratic formula to solve this problem so first we can write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a b and c here so it will becomes t is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 4 so we put it here it will becomes minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 16 and it is divided by two terms of a and where our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as t is equals to minus 4 plus minus here you see that 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 multiplied by 16 
and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now further in the next step we need more simplification then it will become minus 4 plus minus. Here we take common 16 inside the square root sign and after taking common 16 it will become here 16 times of 1 minus 4 divided by 2. So here when you can apply the square root on both of these terms it will be written as minus 4 plus minus 4 times of a square root of minus 3 divided by 2. And now in the next step we have t is equals to here we break this fraction and it will becomes minus 4 over 2 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3 into iota divided by 2. So we get here t is equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation which we get here from equation number 1. And now in order to find the other roots, we need to move forward in equation number 2. So our equation number 2 is implies that first we copy down this equation here. It is t cubed plus 4 cubed equals to 0. And here we apply the cubic formula. So after applying the cubic formula, it will be written as t plus 4 times of t square plus t into uh, t square minus t into 4 plus 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t plus 4 equals to 0. The second case is we write t squared minus 4t plus 16 equals to 0. So from this case we easily get the value of t is equals to minus 4. Uh, and from here uh, we uh, need to write the coefficients of this equation and uh, its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as t equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a, b and c here and it will be written as t equals, this is minus b, the value of b is minus 4, so this will becomes minus times of minus becomes plus 4 plus minus square root of b square, so b is minus 4 square becomes 16, minus 4 times of a is 1, c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1. So in the above steps we can uh, just solve this problem uh, in the same steps uh, in the first case okay so i can just do this type of calculation directly because we can solve this type of same calculations in the above case so uh, after uh, taking simplification you will get here 4 plus minus 4 times of a square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 and now we can uh, break this fraction and it will be written as 4 over 2 plus minus 4 into square root of 3 iota over 2 and we get the values of t equals to 2 plus minus 2 times of uh, square root of 3 iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So from equation number 2 we get 3 roots and equation number 1 we also get 3 roots. So finally we will get here 4 roots of the given equation. So, this is our final answer of this question. Uh, and now here I can give you a, an assignment. So, you can, uh, after watching the complete video, you can solve this assignment. So that uh, here I can just write uh, the same question uh, in the above pattern. So, if you have x over uh, 5, x over 5 to the power of 6, is equals to 3 to the power of 6 and you can solve this problem for the values of x so this is your assignment you can solve this problem and you get all of the solutions of this problem all of the values of x of this problem okay you get the six solutions i uh, i hope so you understand this and you can solve this problem and write over your solution into the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.